Welcome back. Today we have Eloise and Leonard Tolbert here joining us to talk about an incredible event. Thank you guys for being here today. Well, thank you for having us. I'm excited to have you. I see it yes. on the shirt. We're fighting back against multiple myeloma. Yes. What is your event? Well, we're having a fundraiser uh, in Byron, Georgia, where we live, uh, about the multiple myeloma uh, awareness. Mm -hmm. It's caught us by surprise. We haven't heard of it before. And uh, we just want people to know and be aware that it's out there and it's very popular, especially in African-American uh, men 45 and up. Wow, and so multiple myeloma, it really hits home for you guys. Mm -hmm. I want you to talk about your journey with multiple, multiple myeloma and how we got here today. Yes, well, it started, it was simple with a back pain. Mm -hmm. And something that you just think is just a normal everyday thing that you just have back pain and then it start getting worse. And I, I went to the med stop and then they, they sent me, they told me I, while I was hurting that it seemed to be uh, a kidney stone. Mm. And I went to the, uh, they sent me over to Houston Medical to have a, a scan did. And when I had the scan did, they seen something on my pelvic and they told me that well, you need to go back to your doctor, and we see something on your pelvis that don't look that mm -hmm. don't look right. And when I went back to them, they did another scan over there at the cancer center, and they told me that uh, it's not on your pelvic. She say it's it's a form of multiple myeloma. She said and it's on your rib cage, the last wow. rib on the left side. She says eating on the last rib. Wow. And she said we need to do a biopsy. We need to have a biopsy done. And she said the, it was in December of 22. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess about the 15th, somewhere around the 15th of, the, uh, of 22. In December, we came to Macon, went to Macon, and, and we had this, uh, I guess I should have let them die, uh, should have let them gave me something to put me to sleep. But I did it mm. awake. And... I don't know if you were ready be that to much fight. Pain. You were ready to fight. <laughs> but the good thing is, you are in remission now, right? Yes. And so I want to talk about it. We have this event this weekend. And so you want to raise awareness of what you've gone through. First off, really just understanding and responding to what mm -hmm. your body was saying, which was so important. Mm -hmm. Going to the doctor yes. if something feels wrong. Yes. But now you have this event. What do you hope to gain or to tell people through this upcoming event? Well, I hope that uh, people just pay attention to their body because just like he said that, you know, it, it's, it's sending signals mm -hmm. and we think it's one thing and we can have um, the same symptoms, but it could be a, a different diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And to, yeah. to be, you know, aware that multi myeloma is in our community, is in the black man community, and we need to get the word out for people to go get checked mm -hmm. and, and to be aware that, um, it, you know, it is um, treatments, comfortable treatments, and catch um, if you catch it early, and, and, and you can live a, a stable life. That's the big thing. I think you said it, catching it early. You were detected mm -hmm. at stage two, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So mm -hmm. the earlier you catch it, what do you want people to know, having gone through this, about their bodies? If they're feeling any symptoms, I know you talked about it, catching it early, speaking yeah. about it. What do you want to tell people who may be having a little fear about going forward and saying something? Yeah, it's, 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 it's no fear. It's about you wanting to live. Mm. You know, if you want to live, if you really want to live, you need to go and get yourself checked. Anytime, with anything that's happening to your body now, I advise you to go and get yourself checked. You really need to be checked because we don't know what it is because I never That's thought right. that, that this would happen to me. That's right. I never thought it would. but Get those it, checks it done early. That's okay. right. Okay, and so if you have any questions about it or you want to learn more on how to support folks with multiple myeloma, you want to find out about what it really is, there's a fundraiser. The details are on your screen October 5th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Peach Park in Byron. The address is on your screen. There's going to be speakers, medical professionals, prizes given away at the event. You can donate. We will have the information to donate on our website, 41NBC.com. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thank All you. right, stay with us. We'll have sports, weather, and news after the break.